Welcome to the tutorial on how you change the receivers. Now our default setting is that the default group, everyone in the group will receive the alerts. However, let's say you just wanted to go to security. Let's find out who our security person is. Well, we got Sasha Borden. What we need to do is find the machine name for Sasha's PC. So we select that node, that user, click the pencil to edit, and then we're going to see the a person's name. This is actually their machine name, Sasha2 underscore Sasha dash PC. So let's remember that. Now we go to the groups because we want to change the entire group. If we want to change just one ind individual node or user, we can do that. But we want this to roll out the entire group. So we look at the default group and we click buttons. Under the buttons, we're going to find the button that we want to change. Let's say we want to change this support button and we click the alerts because that's what we're changing the uh, receivers for the alerts. Well, the first thing we want to do is delete the default group. So we see that the group that's assigned as a receiver is the default group. Well, we don't want that, so we hit the trash can and we delete that. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to choose just an individual recipient and that's where we go to the recipients link where we want to choose individual users to be a receiver of a node of, a, of an alert. Well first thing we have to do is we have to delete uh, the nodes that are there uh, the um, receivers that are there so we can go through and, and take them out and when we're out uh, this will be blank at which point we want to click the add button to find um, Sasha to underscore Sasha PC and as, as we can recall that was the node for Sasha Borden who is our security officer so there we go um, now we've changed it from the default group is no longer receiving the alerts but just that one user Sasha Borden with that machine name uh, Sasha to underscore Sasha PC that's going to be the system uh, the computer that receives the alert you're going to get a confirmation window making sure that you want to do that we'll click OK and then we're done the one thing we have to do uh, one more thing we have to do is on the end user PC we want to uh, make sure that we refresh the profile so you right click the red icon on uh, the workstations and you click refresh profile however uh, that's sort of the manual change uh, this rollout will occur and this change will occur at every PC startup and also whatever command check interval. Our default interval is every 60 minutes. So every hour it's going to be checking the server for any uh, savings. But just do it more instantly. We want to do it right away. We'll click that and we get the refresh profile and we're good to go.